Hello students. Here uh, I would like to explain the problem set. Uh, first of all, I am going to discuss about second problem. Here the second problem is a rope of negligible mass is wound around a hollow cylinder. Here the object is hollow cylinder. Hollow cylinder with mass m equal to three kg and radius r is equal to how much? Forty centimeters. That is zero point four meters. Zero point four meters. What is the angular acceleration? What is the angular acceleration? Alpha of the cylinder. If the rope is pulled with a force of force F equal to how much? Thirty newtons. What is the linear acceleration? You need to find out linear acceleration as well. Assume that there is no slipping. Okay. We have solved similar example. in the previous class uh, there was a flywheel but here it is a hollow cylinder around which the rope is wound like this and application of force is how much 30 newtons and radius is how much radius r is equal to 40 meters 40 cm okay now from torque to be equal to i alpha okay Torque is nothing but we know R F sine theta. What is the angle between R and F here? Angle between R and F is ninety degrees. So here R is how much? R F sine theta that is equal to I. I is nothing but moment of inertia of hollow cylinder. Moment of inertia of hollow cylinder is m r square. Okay, into alpha. Alpha is alpha. So this R R And R get cancel, so you will get only F sine ninety. F is nothing but here F equal to thirty newtons into sine ninety is equal to one, which is equal to mass m. M is three kg into R. R is how much? Zero point four into alpha. Okay, so thirty is equal to three into zero point four is nothing but one point two alpha. 1.2 alpha. Therefore, alpha is equal to 30 divided by 1.2, which is equal to 25 radians per second square. And also, and also, I ask you to find out acceleration, linear acceleration. We know linear velocity v is equal to r omega. In order to get the acceleration, we need to differentiate everything. That is, d by dt of v is equal to d by dt of r omega okay so now here d by dt of v is nothing but acceleration a is equal to r radius is constant remaining thing is d by dt of omega d by dt of omega is nothing but alpha so what is the re relation between a and alpha r d by dt of omega is nothing but alpha so linear acceleration a equal to r alpha Okay, so here linear acceleration a equal to r is nothing nothing but zero point four meters into alpha. Alpha we got it as to twenty five radians per second square. Okay, we get a equal to twenty five into zero point four is nothing but ten meter per second square. This is the answer for acceleration. Next now. I am going to discuss about uh, next problem. Wait a second. Wait a second. Now I am going to explain third problem here. What is third problem here? See the third solution for third problem is a coin is kept a distance of ten centimeters from the center of a circular turn table. Consider this is a turn table. From turn table, the coin is placed at a distance of r equal to how much? Ten centimeters. Here coin is there here. If the coefficient of static friction between the table and the coin is 
coefficient of static friction mu is equal to 0 0.8 now find the frequency of the rotation of the disc at which the coin will just begin to slip so we need to find out frequency f okay we know that angular frequency omega equal to 2 times of frequency 2 pi f right when circular turntable is rotating like this th that means the turntable is in circular motion so that coin is also in circular motion whenever it is circular motion while the coil is in circular motion there always be centripetal acceleration so what force here acting only one force that is acting that is nothing but frictional force frictional force a static frictional force and the acceleration is also pointing towards to the center that acceleration is nothing but centripetal acceleration so from sigma f equal to m into a only one force is acting that one force is nothing but fs is equal to m into a which type of acceleration it is centripetal acceleration v square by r we know that mu s is fs is nothing but mu s into mg mu s mg is equal to m into v square is nothing but we know v is equal to r omega so r omega whole square by r okay so here m and m get cancelled mu s into g is equal to r square omega square divided by r this r and r get cancels so mu s into g is equal to r into omega square omega is nothing but what 2 pi f whole square so mu s g is equal to r into 4 pi square f square so now we know mu s value mu s equal to 0 0.8 and also we know g value g is nothing but 10 meter per second square and we know r value r is given as 10 centimeters r is given as 10 centimeters convert into meters that is 0 0.1 meter 4 is known pi is known the only unknown thing is frequency f so you will get the frequency by solving this equation by substituting the given parameters okay now i am going to explain fourth problem fourth problem one second yes now i am going to explain fourth problem so here the fourth problem is about a particles of masses 1 gram 2 gram 3 gram 100 gram are kept at a distance of 1 centimeter 2 centimeters 3 centimeter 100 centimeters respectively on a meter scale now i am going to draw a meter scale now i am going to draw a meter scale consider this is a meter scale okay so meter scale starts from 0 centimeters 1 centimeter 2 centimeters etc okay and 1 gram is kept at 1 centimeter 2 grams is kept at 2 centimeters he has mentioned this and 3 grams is kept at uh, 3 centimeters 4 grams is kept at 4 centimeters and so on etc and so on etc so now find the moment of inertia of the system of particles about a perpendicular bisector of the meter scale perpendicular bisector means exactly at the center but perpendicular that means in meter scale we will finding the readings from 0 to 100 perpendicular bisector means exactly at 50 centimeters so what mass is kept at 50 centimeters 50 grams mass is there at 50 centimeters okay so 4 grams 5 grams uh, consider this is um, 48th centimeter so how much the mass is there here 48 grams and then for at 49 centimeters uh, the amount of mass that kept at 49 centimeters is 49 grams at exactly perpendicular bisector 50 grams is there and this is nothing but 51 centimeter so the amount of mass is 51 grams here and 52 centimeters the amount of mass is 52 grams here and so on 
let us consider this is 98 centimeters so 98 grams mass is there 99th centimeter at 99 centimeter the mass is 99 grams kept on the meter scale at 100 centimeters the amount of mass that kept at 100 centimeter mark is 100 grams okay the situation is like this right so he asked to find out what find the moment of inertia of the system of particles about a perpendicular bisector of the meter scale we need to find out the moment of inertia about this perpendicular bisector here it is the axis of rotation so from this axis of rotation this 51 centimeters mass 50 gram 51 gram centimeters mass and 49 grams meters mass are at equidistance 1 centimeter from the perpendicular bisector so here moment of inertia is nothing but we know moment of inertia is equal to sum of m r square m i r i square okay so here uh, 49 grams is at a distance of 1 centimeter from the axis of rotation 51 gram is also at the distance of 1 centimeter from the axis of rotation so here i am finding out 49 grams into 1 centimeter whole square m r square plus i am going to find out next one at the same distance 51 grams is there so 59 grams into 1 centimeter whole square so that means i am taking 1 centimeter square as common so that we will get 49 grams plus 51 grams into 1 centimeter square okay next similarly this one this one 48 grams is at a distance of 2 centimeters from axis of rotation the same time 52 grams is at a distance of 2 centimeters from the axis of rotation so for the next one i am writing it as so i am writing total moment of inertia here total moment of inertia is equal to at 1 centimeters apart there are two masses 49 grams and 51 grams so i am writing it as 49 plus 51 grams into 1 grams into 1 centimeter whole square plus uh, at 2 centimeters distance at 2 centimeters distance uh, 48 grams is there and 52 grams is there so 48 grams plus 52 grams into 2 centimeter whole square total mass into r square okay now plus at 3 centimeters distance uh, here it is 47 centimeters and the mass is 47 grams here it is 53 grams at 53 centimeters mark so now i will get 47 grams plus uh, at 3 centimeters 47 grams is there and also 53 grams is there so 47 grams plus 53 grams into 3 centimeters whole square and so on and so on mm. i will get 1 gram plus 99 gram okay 1 gram plus 99 grams into how much it is 49 centimeters whole square plus finally mm, this is at a distance of 0 uh, 50 centimeters mark so at 50 centimeters mark 0 grams is there and at right side 50 centimeters mark 100 grams is there 0 grams plus 100 grams into into 50 centimeters whole square 0 grams and 100 grams are equidistance from the perpendicular bisector that equidistance is nothing but 50 grams from perpendicular bisector right side 100 grams is there and left to side 0 grams is there so i am writing this as mm, 49 plus 51 100 grams into 
वन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर वन सेंटीमीटर इज नथिंग बट वन स्क्वेर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर प्लस फार्टी एट प्लस फिफ्टी टू अगेन हंड्रेड ग्राम्स इंटू टू स्क्वेर टू स्क्वेर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर प्लस फार्टी सेवन प्लस फिफ्टी थ्री इज नथिंग बट अगेन हंड्रेड ग्राम्स इंटू इंटू थ्री स्क्वेर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर एंड सो ऑन एंड सो ऑन लास्ट वन इज नथिंग बट हंड्रेड ग्राम्स इंटू फिफ्टी स्क्वेर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर ओके सो आई एम टेकिंग हंड्रेड ग्राम्स हंड्रेड ग्राम्स इंटू सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर ग्राम सेंटी स्क्वे मीटर स्क्वेर हंड्रेड ग्राम्स हंड्रेड ग्राम्स सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर हंड्रेड ग्राम्स सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर इज कामन ई हव टेकन इट एज कामन सो रिमेनिंग थिंग इज वन स्क्वेर प्लस टू स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री स्क्वेर इज एंड इट राइट वन स्क्वेर प्लस टू स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस फोर स्क्वेर प्लस फाइव स्क्वेर एंड सो ऑन अप टू फिफ्टी स्क्वेर इज देर so the sum of squares of the numbers sum of squares of the number is nothing but 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square is nothing but n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 here n value is equal to 6 50 therefore 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square n is nothing but here 50 square equal to n is nothing but 50 Into n plus one, that is fifty plus one, into two n plus one, that means two into fifty plus one divided by six. So that is equal to how much? Fifty into fifty one into two into fifty is nothing but hundred plus one one not one divided by six. One not one divided by six. Okay. So here I get a. Uh, Three two just six, three seventeen ja. Okay, two one just two, two twenty five ja. So I will get what is here twenty five into seventeen into one not one. So substitute this value here. So you will get moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is equal to hundred grams into centimeter square into twenty five into seventeen into. Seventeen into one not one. Okay, convert grams into kilograms. That is hundred, hundred. One gram is nothing but ten power minus three kilogram, and one centimeter square equal to ten to the power of minus four meter square into twenty five into seventeen into one not one. So you will get the answer for moment of inertia by calculating with the help of calculator in kg meter square.